everyone, welcome back. As always, my name is Oz. Today are, we are delving into the very last few games of the Madvent Calendar 3 Necrosis. We will see what becomes of Gifty, and we will see what happens with the Curator. So, let's jump into this. The end of Madvent. Let's see what number 26 is. Right. Okay. Number 26 is Cancelled Christmas by Brian Rotten. Brain Rotten Dev. Loading outskirts. Get ready. What? Oh, it's a shooting game. How do I reload? Do I have to click down here to reload? How do I reload? How do I reload? It's not telling me how to reload. Oh, oh just oh, like that. Okay. Why can I not, like... Okay, 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 okay. Why can I not hit these guys? I can't. Okay, okay. Okay, that was a uh, can canceled Christmas. That um, by uh, Brain Rotten Dev. I couldn't get the game to work. So, what is this box game? Let's see what game 28 is. <laughs> Jennifer's nonsensical Christmas adventure by Jan Hatsia. Help Jennifer save someone's Christmas. All right, let's go save a Christmas. yourself walking through the city in the middle of the night, wondering about life and if the store where you need the milk from is actually closed or open, when suddenly you hear a very loud crash. So like any sane human would do, you run towards the sound to see what happened. When you get there, you see a young lady getting out of a giant sled. She notices you are watching the scene and starts walking towards you. Ouch, that really hurts. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm okay. Don't worry. Listen, I need your help. My name is Jennifer, and I'm the new Santa. Don't get... Don't get the wrong idea. Santa is completely fine. He just needed to rest this year. 
That's why I'm the one giving presents this year. Okay, so here's the thing. I just need to deliver one more present. However, I lost it. Now, you are probably wondering, how can you lose a car? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, the present is a car. A green one to be specific. Anywho, I think someone stole the car and I need it back before Christmas. Can you help me? You can. Thank you, thank you. So, where do we search first? Oh, I know. There's a bar right around the corner. Let's go. We might find something there. Okay. This is a linear story for Christmas. Okay. Okay, we are here now. Can you see the car? Yes. Yes, it's right there. That guy has a scar on his face. He's probably scree. Is that the... Is that the... That's my car! Hey, don't touch my car. What's wrong with you? That's not your car, sir. That's one of my presents, and you stole it. I don't know what you're talking about. Get out of here before I call the cops. Just you wait till Santa hears about this. You'll get nothing but coal for years. Hey, where do you think you're going? What the hell is going on? After a very action-packed persecution full of life and death situations, Jennifer makes the thief crash the car against the wall and escape out of fear of Jennifer trying to do something bad to him. Okay. Yes, we did it! Now, let's deliver the car so it's rightful owner. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. We need to get out of here. Let's just say that I made a mistake. Oops. I guess we accidentally committed a crime. Anywho, even if it is not the car, I say we should use this one. Why not? Oh dear. <laughs> what is going on? Since we committed more than one crime, we naturally end up in prison. However, Jennifer is not willing to give up. You know that someone needs that green car and their Christmas would be completely ruined without it. I'm so sorry for putting you in this situation. This is worse than that time I got stuck in a random refrigerator. It was colder than the North Pole in there. There's no way we're getting out of this situation. Unless... That's right, I have an idea. This tiny bag is actually Santa's magical bag. And inside, he hides all the leftover presents from previous years. Help me out. Let's find a cool disguise so we can fool the gods and escape. Oh, God. What is this? Jennifer tries a bunch of awful costumes, but you tell her about how stupid she looks in all of them. And that the guards are not going to buy into this chicanery. However, there was one costume that was slightly better than the rest. You both know no one is going to be fooled by this, but you can't think of something better. <laughs> what the hell is that? I know you don't like this, but it's going to be fine. Don't worry. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm going to pretend that I am the president of whatever country and you are my assistant. Sounds great, right? Let's do this. God, I command you to release us immediately. Wait, who are you? And where is that psycho girl? Psycho? I mean, I am the president of Placeland. Placeland. Yes, Placeland. It's a really important 
micro nation from Yara. I'm not sure that. Hello? Yes, from Placeland. You think we should call him? Call who? Who are you talking to on the phone? If you don't release us immediately, your country is going to be in serious trouble. Wait here, I'm going to meet someone to talk about this situation. What the hell is going on? We've been here for an hour. We can't wait any more time. We have to do something. Hello, welcome to our country. We are sorry about this incident. Mr. President? That's right. I'm Jonathan Guy, President of the United States of America. Oh god. Jonathan Guy, huh? Listen, I want to invite you both to the White House and talk about your country. Maybe we can have a good relationship with your country. I'm sorry, Mr. President. I don't think I have time to. Come on. It's going to be quick. I have to sleep soon, or I'll be too tired for Christmas. Oh boy. Oh dear. After an interesting presentation, the President, Jennifer, and you sit down on a very large table to eat a very fancy dinner. The time is running out. You need to do something or Christmas will be ruined for the poor guy that needs that car. Oh dear. What is going on with this? He does not stop talking. We need to get out of here. So tell me, is Placeland a really cold place or is it more tropical? Cold. Really cold. I'm sorry to interrupt this conversation. It's been so much fun. I'm afraid we have to leave. All right, listen. I can't let you do that. And why is that? My country is going to be really angry. And if they find out, we are prisoners. I'm not that stupid, Jennifer. No one will buy your little act. You will stay here until tomorrow, and there is nothing you can do about it. Ha 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 ha. Why are you doing this? That's really simple. Revenge. You see, last year, Santa made a mistake. Impossible. It's true. I have not done anything wrong. Everything I've done has been for my people. Listen, I have no idea what you've done, but if Santa says you did something wrong, then you did something wrong. I wanted that green car, and since Santa did not want to give it to me, I chose to take it by force. The green car? It was you? You stole the car? That's right, Jennifer. Ever since I was a child, I've always wanted a green car. You see, when I was five years old, my dad gave me a little toy car that was really cool and really green. Sir, Jennifer, and his assistant ran away while you were dreaming about your childhood. What? <laughs> it was too late when the president noticed that you two were gone. And with the help of Jennifer's amazing fighting skills, you find the green car and escape from the scene. Christmas is saved. All thanks to Jennifer and you. The end. I mean... That wasn't really a game, but okay, it it was um, nonsensical. It was nonsensical. It lived up to the name. Okay, that was Jennifer's nonsensical Christmas adventure. Lived up to the name. 29. Calm the Wolf. Let's see what number 30 is. Ooh, happy new fear. Ah. Oh! Happy new fear. Dear friend, you totally missed it. After merging with the spare dreams to become the signal, Kitty started coming right at the tower to stop us. But then, before you climb up, a huge purple laser beam shot through the night, like blah! And it startled Kitty so bad, he fell back down to earth. It was the curator! Emerging from the water, the two engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat! Back and forth, they traded blows. 
I'll be honest, there was a brief moment I thought Skip might be too much for the curator. But then, he shot a laser beam right into Gippy's mouth. It was part of a complete breakfast. Huh. He him up so much, he melted into a pile of goop. As the goop of flesh started to spread through the street, at the core was Gippy. And some guy named Luke Spookum? Apparently the mayor of New Spook City. Who knew? Anyhow, the curator calmed down, and the four of us went to get bubble tea. The end. Was that it? All right, guys. Well, that was Madvent Calendar 3 Necrosis. I hope you enjoyed watching me work my way through the Madvent Calendar this year. I know some of these videos will come up after New Year's, uh, but they're still a little fun. It's not that far after Christmas. But yeah, that was the end of Madvent Calendar. 
thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our journey through it this year and look forward to next year's version. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you're liking what you're seeing, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. I really do enjoy playing these games. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I look forward to more from the Haunted PlayStation 1. They always do something around uh, a demo disc and then they do something for Madvin. So again, thanks so much, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.